Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and the devs recently released a video explaining their plans for 2022, and I will be reviewing that video and expressing what it all means, so let's just get right into this. So to quickly review here, their plans are as follows. Now that the game is in a comfortable state, of the goal to reach that estate, of course, being the main goal of last year, it does feel like they can begin to address the larger issues that players have been complaining about in the community. First, they address the new player problem, stating it will be a massive goal of the new year to fix. This is a huge positive in my eyes as the new player dilemma is something that I've covered extensively in my videos in the past. Then they address that another one of their goals is to overhaul the challenge system. We already got the first part of this overhaul with 11.0, however I'm curious to see just how far this overhaul goes, seeing as in the dev stream they mention this as a possible solution to players who feel like they have nothing left to do. Challenges receiving an overhaul that makes them something worthy for top tier players and endgame players to do and care about is certainly something for us all to keep an eye on as it may indicate or imply a complete restructure of what endgame or even progression itself means. Next they covered this year's plan season wise. We will only have three seasons this year, with the reason being quality over quantity. The hope is with less seasons, each one will be better, and hopefully there will be no more delays. And for those of you who are worried, Vigor normally only has four seasons a year anyway, so this is only losing one season. So, not a huge difference in my eyes. Also, the devs in the video address the concerns, stating that they will have many monthly updates that will be between seasons. For those of you who followed the game closely last year, you will know that this is also what we kind of had near the end of the year. The question I have is if these new monthly updates will be larger in scale or similar in scale to last year's monthly updates. We really won't know until they happen anyway, so that's really all I can speculate with for now. Finally, we did the last reveal that the lore is just beginning with this season, and that we have really much more to look forward to as they have a lot more up their sleeve, which those of us who have been following the lore know all too well. The story is really just beginning, and I can't wait to see how it all ends. Finally, we should take a moment to analyze the concept art of this year's seasons. Uh, the image is clearly cut into three, and in the top right, we can see the symbol of perseverance and the glove of sutra, meaning that this is the one that represents the current season. Looking at the other two, we can begin to make some guesses as to what they will be about. First of all, we have the one in the top left. This one has hooks, chains, a magazine, and a tomato timer. The background color is gray with white, and considering that next season will start in the summertime, we can assume that the top left will be the future season 12. Based off this, we really can't guess much. However, if you let me enter pure theory mode, season 12 may tell us more about the story of Vikings. The hook representing the rigging for a ship, the tomato timer representing the clock to the apocalypse, and the magazine representing their violent nature. Then we have on the bottom, which seems to represent the final season we'll be receiving this year, season 13. The bottom season has a snowy background. On the right side, we see a long bullet, and personally, I'm not good enough at, at like, identifying bullets to identify a bullet like this. However, I think we can assume that in season 13, the new gun will be either a sniper or an MMG, or just something that fires larger caliber rounds. Next, on the white right side, we can see a buried cash bot, perhaps symbolizing a lost secret in the lore, or maybe an overhaul of the caches. I really can't say for certain at this point in time. There's also a bag that we could expect as a cosmetic for season 13, but as of this moment, I can't really call what exactly it means, and it just kind of seems to be a future cosmetic idea. Finally, we have these goggles over here, and not gonna lie, these took me a second to figure out what it was, but I'm pretty sure it is a pair of goggles. With that in mind, we should really consider that likely in season 13, it's gonna be a cosmetic in that season, but it, we should consider, since it's goggles, I'm gonna make a tiny bit of a stretch here that we can guess it's gonna be some type of military theme. I don't really know who else uses goggles, unless we're getting steers, but I think we're gonna get a military theme season for season 13. Um, at least that's my guess. Again, a lot of these random things are just kind of theory. We don't really know what exactly this is teasing until it arrives. But those are just my thoughts. It is nice to finally have a roadmap of some form, and I'm really excited for what this means for the future of Vigor, and I'm hopeful we all as a community are really appreciative of the addition of a roadmap. But until then, this has been Christopher Beast, and I do hope to see you all next time.